everyone we are back again and today we are going back to the basics and discussing the submandibular incision for mandibular fractures now let's go step by step now the first incision is given through skin and subcutaneous tissue now this incision is given 1.5 to 2 cm below the angle of the mandible to protect the marginal mandibular branch of the facial nerve next you encounter the platysma which you incise through to reach the superficial layer of deep cervical fascia now this is the most important area as herein lies the submandibular gland the facial artery facial vein and marginal mandibular branch of the facial nerve now you retract the submandibular gland and the node of stahar which is used to situate the facial artery down then you ligate the facial artery you ligate the facial vein the tied end of the facial vein you retract superiorly to protect the marginal mandibular branch of the facial nerve also called the hayes martin maneuver you reach the pterygomastic sling which you incise to reach the fracture 